Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Accenture exam and maybe you are looking for a new hiring announcement but you are not getting. So for this situation, my suggestion to you, please visit LinkedIn, search different companies HR, connect and directly message them, show them why you are important, right? I hope one of the message can be life changing. So, by the way, today we'll discuss a coding question which was asked on Accenture assessment on 3rd March for Pada rule. Let's see what's the question. So, the question is, you are given an integer in, write a Python function to calculate and return the sum of the digits in n after converting it to its binary representation. For example, 15, which has a binary representation of 1 1 1 1 should return 4 right so this was asked in the advanced section so you must give importance to this question right and uh, this is also a uh, an easy question an easy coding question right but this was asked in advanced section right so what we have to do at first uh, let's say the input is 15 and you have to convert that into binary representation like uh, 15 is uh treated as one 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 in binary and you have to count the sum of the digits right so this is a simple task and you have to write this in python not in your preferable language right like in c plus plus or java right so how to convert a number into binary digits that is the first step is you have to divide the number itself by two and the quotient, I mean, uh, let's say the 7 will be divided in the next step and the quotient again will be divided in the next step, right? But the remainder will be stored, right? So, mm -hmm. at first, let's say 15 is divided by 2 and the quotient is 7, but the remainder is 1, right? So, let's store that into a variable, let's say, binary, okay? So, at first, we are storing that 1 in this variable right and in the step 2 we are dividing the this quotient by 2 again and we got 3 as quotient and remainder is 1 right so we are storing this one here as well right we are concatenating right and in the sec third step we are also con uh, dividing this quotient with 2 and got 1 as quotient and remainder also 1 right so we'll again concatenate that 1 into binary variable right and at the last step uh, what we would do that is we'll again divide this one i mean this quotient by two and we, we get that the quotient becomes zero and remainder is one so we'll also concatenate that one with with this right so how much step we should do that is until or unless the quotient becomes zero will keep performing the operation like uh, we'll we will keep dividing by two right and get that remainder i mean get the remainder one right i mean one or zero right and after the after full operation we have to reverse this order right sometime it may be one zero zero one this way right so you have to reverse this right so our actual binary will be the reverse form of this string right so i hope you understood how to convert a decimal number into binary and now what we would do we have to we have to make the sum of all the digits right so i think this is the uh, 10 to 15 times i am explaining about sum of digits but before that i would request you to uh, watch the playlist regarding one code is equal to 100 codes in which i have explained two or three uh, two or three codes by which you can uh, solve multiple codes multiple competitive programming questions right so please watch that and you if you have watched that then you could have solved this problem uh, right now right so please watch that okay so let's go to uh, the solution part so what i would do at first at first let's create the function so the let's say the function is uh, sum bin okay will use sum of binary but uh, in python actually there is a inbuilt function binary 
uh, bin but we will not use that because uh, this is might this might be restricted to use uh, in build in build function right so you have to know the logic how to convert a decimal number into binary right so let's take the argument let's say n and sorry okay so uh, now what do you do i have to run a while loop until or unless the n becomes zero right so while n not equal to zero what i would do i will perform some operation that is i will at first divide by two and i will take the remainder right so how do you take the remainder after dividing with two so rem is equal to n mod two right so this way i am taking the remainder after dividing with two right and what we do right now i will concatenate that remainder with a variable or with uh, inside a list right so let's let me declare a list let's say the list uh, li is equal to an empty list and i will append that remainder inside that list right so li dot append that remainder okay so i have appended that remainder inside that list so now what i do i will uh, take the next quotient right so n by uh, is equal to 2 right so this way i am taking the quotient right so this is similar like n is equal to n by 2 right so double slash means i am taking the integer value right so uh, i am taking the 7 in this case right so so at first in the while loop uh, we are checking if n not equal to 0 yes 15 not equal to 0 and i am getting remainder is equal to 15 mod 2 that means uh, i am dividing by 2 and getting 1 as remainder at first then i am appending that remainder in this list so at the first the one which is added to the list and i am uh, getting the quotient that is uh, 2 7 are uh, 14 so this 7 is the quotient that in that case so i am getting that quotient i will iterate in the next loop and the n becomes 7 and i will check if 7 not equal to 0 yes and a remainder is equal to 7 mod 2 so 1 will be remainder again so i will again append that one in uh, in that list and uh, i will again take the quotient right so how uh, the, what will be that quotient that is 2 3 are 6 so 3 will be quotient and this process will keep going on right so until or unless n not equal to 0 right so now let's say our list is prepared with the binary values right so how do we take uh, get that binary values inside a string so at first we get that binary values inside the list so at first we have to reverse that, that list to get the binary values right so let's say the rev is equal to li dot reverse right so this is a inbuilt function in uh in, in python by which we can reverse a list so we have reversed the list right now now what we do uh, we'll get that those values those list values into a uh, string values so let's say the string values is equal to uh, join there is a inbuilt function join uh, which helps us to convert the list element to a single string so join what uh, the name of the list that is li right so i am joining all the values inside the list a list element into uh, and converting it into a string right so to use this function join i have to use str i mean i have to typecast the remainder into string right otherwise it will throw an error okay so now what i would do that is uh, the the string becomes right now one 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 right so now the binary value are are ready right so now i will take the sum of the digits right so i will just run a while loop until or unless this is not equal to zero right but the s is uh 
string so i'll i'll have to convert that string into integer right so let's say the num is equal to int s right so the num is now the actual integer string format in the string and in the integer format so i'll perform if num not equal to zero then only do what uh, that is at first take the last digit i mean extract one digit and sum uh, all the digits one by one at each iteration right so last, let's say the last is equal to how would we get the last digit that is num mod 10 and i will get the last digit of that uh, integer value right now i will add uh, add that uh, remainder or the last digit into with a sum variable which i have to declare here at first right so let's say sum is equal to zero okay so i have this is actually keyword that's why i have to use this right okay so sum is equal to sum plus this last digit okay so now i'll have to divide this sum sorry this uh, num by 10 because i have to iterate to the next loop and i have to reduce one from whole integer right at first the num what is that that is one 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 and i am checking if that is not equal to zero yes not equal to zero and last is equal to what at first the last is equal to one at first then sum is equal to sum plus last that means sum was zero and 0 plus last was 1 so this becomes 1 at first then uh, the actual num was 1 1 1 1 so at first this becomes this right i mean 1 1 1 and we had uh, the last one is removed right so this loop will keep going on until or unless num not equal to 0 right and as of now the sum is ready like uh, sum is equal to let's say now it becomes 4 right so i'll have to return that value return sum this was our task right so let's write the driver function i mean uh, let's call the function right so print what uh, sum bin okay and uh, let's say the value is 15 so let me clear it if the name was sum or not okay so the value okay sum bin okay it's okay now let me run it and see if this give right output or not okay this is giving right output okay so let's say uh, uh let's take another input let's say uh four right so four is having uh, the binary value one zero zero right so it's output should be one right sorry so i hope the output would be one okay so let's say for three the binary value is one one so output should be two right and sorry three and output should be two right and as expected right so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used in python so if you didn't understand yet then let me know i will explain in the comment section right so if you love this session please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company and if you want to discuss more then please join our telegram channel t.me slash ubk anna okay so i hope i will get more productive discussion thank you for today's session